the three rules in advertising are keep it simple, make it memorable, evoke an emotional response. So that's what I'm going to do in this talk. It's going to be really simple, it's going to be really memorable, and I'm going to try and fit as many stories as I can into this hour that we have together to evoke an emotional response. Some of you may know me from this country's longest running radio comedy show. It's the longest running in the world. It's been my privilege to be all the females on that show. Oh, stuff my mushrooms. <laughs> When Hazel Hawke heard that, she said, oh, it's close enough to be uncomfortable. <laughs> My name's Mera! I'm up in the world! I'm up in the world! <laughs> I love this thing, and every time I speak, I count the seconds. Some people miss them. moment and you can have outcomes that are just totally unrecognisable. What do you want to do with your life? Uh, like, um, I want to do, um, early childhood education. And I said, being an audacious leader at the time, you're gonna have to tell your face. We just love laughing. It's one of our greatest qualities. And we can laugh when it's funny, but one of our best qualities is we can laugh when it ain't funny. We love the complaining. But the trouble is, it just rips our whole life out from under us. Hello, how are you? I'm so... Aww. <laughs> Put an empowering word next to tired. You can come home tired and appreciative. Tired and understanding, tired and excited, tired and quiet. One divorcee in Adelaide said, gee, my kids only get to see me every three weeks and they get divorced and pissed off dad. He said, now I'm going to use that and I'm going to be divorced and fun dad. You can come home tired and sexy. You have the drought, don't let the drought have you. They left swinging hands like teenagers saying, going to go home tired and sexy tonight, darling. And New South Wales Agriculture wrote best drought relief ever. She said, oh, my 30-year-old son committed suicide three months ago. When you said we could make it up, she said, I chose healed. And today is the first day of being healed. think of to describe what that woman did was she got a fist and she stuck it through the top of her head down into her guts and she pulled out what really mattered. Life itself. It's an audacious act of the will. I went looking to see well what's stealing the laughter and I found the four thieves. This is my gift to you tonight. I am unwilling to be less than passionate. This is a space where we're going to invent a whole new future together. Your facility, your creche, your prep, your school, whatever, you will have certain words that you tell a community about yourselves. If you're not being that, then we're frauds. She was not behaving as a professional. What else had been stolen from her? Just yell out some words. Yes, yeah, self-esteem. Confidential, 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 confidential. <laughs> Because she said on the top, I said, all answers will be confidential. <laughs> How can you be so certain? She said, my cat was dead. I thought he was doing a Christmas gnome voice, right? So I said, pleased to meet you. Yeah. Don't do that, OK? It's not good. <laughs>